And then that, uh, will unplug it? No, don't unplug it. I can't hold this out too easy. Yeah, we just want it loose. And then, uh, the brake line cable, take it, disconnect it from that, uh, it's on the shock tower there. This one? Huh? This cable? This one? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do that one too, but do the other one. Yeah, that one. Unbolt it from the, uh, the... Not the message. So far he's removed the, the wheel, he's removed the U-bolts off the springs, he's removed the uh, clips holding the brake lines on, he's unhooked the wire that does the anti-lock brakes, and he's took the bolt out of the shocks. They're doing that to the other side now too. When we raised it off the springs the axle tilted forward. So now we got to figure, you got to pump that back up. Or the, you, 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 the you bolt ain't going to match up. It's out of line. <laughs> the whole thing moved even with the... I didn't think of that. All right. Well, we found out that the U-bolts are bigger around than the holes in the thing, clamp that goes on the bottom. <laughs> So we have to drill them out and then they're wider too for some reason so we're trying to bend them back in to get them to go through the hole and get the bolts on. Yes, quite a bit actually. Quite a bit. Hi, mother. What are you looking for back here? That clip. The clip? Did we put it up there? I don't see the clip. Put your hat on. Oh. The clip from okay. my side. Okay. Trying to get it straight down. Is there a problem with that? No, he's looking for his. <laughs> I thought it was right here. Many, you got a clip on your foot. What's that right there? That's a washer. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's just a washer. Right. <laughs> it's a plastic something. Yeah, I told you there was a problem with just leaving stuff on the ground. Well, usually it's all together. And washers, nuts. Did not take it over because I was like, this is what it looks like. Nope. We're pointing it to my side. We're going to have to open the hood for this one, Carl. Where the strut is. <laughs> nope. I guess not. I 
think we can get to it without it. Go ahead and stick that under the frame. <coughs> The truck is be the same as the vacuum. Yeah, I like to just like double, triple, stick stuff under there. <laughs> Get crushed under. Good. Of course, that was a tractor and truck. I mean, that was a dump truck. Truck that was a triaxle. <laughs> it's a little bigger. <laughs> yeah, it's still enough weight to cause a bunch of damage. It's shifting over to your side again. Is that jack stand going crooked on me? I gotta watch where I walk or I'll wind up on my head because of this thing. <laughs> He's sticking to me like glue. Light. The magnet light she hit it on me is probably in the house. Trade you loose with the key. Is that the key or is that the key nut? Uh, <laughs> that's key nut. Not the key. Oh crap. They all look the same then. Huh? <laughs> He's not doing a good job about separating my faults. <laughs> la la la. I'll put this over here. That's a nut that goes in here. <laughs> That's a nut that goes in there. <laughs> Makes your fingers cold in a hurry. <clears throat> That's why even though it's a little bit inconvenient, I'm trying to keep in the gloves as much as possible. Doing this crap in 30 degree weather. You're the one who wanted it done today. I don't mind. I would have done it during the day. Oh. <laughs> no, that's all the thing. <laughs> Let me see the airline, John. I ain't I'm got back. one done yet. Huh? I'm down to one. Right. Okay. Just the old line or you want the impact to it? I got the impact over here. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> had to turn the struts 180 degrees because the the spacer they gave us was backwards or something <laughs> didn't match up right so we're on the front suspension now it took us three hours on the back <clears throat> and then we get that done we're gonna have to get a front end alignment maybe tomorrow or get a whole 
truck on it. Right uh, dang, it's cold out there. 35 right now. That's all for today. Fingers are froze, so I can't work the camera, but two and three quarter inches in the back, but the back's loaded pretty heavy, and three inches in the front. There's a pretty little red buggy book before we're stopping. <clears throat> this is what the three inch lift kit did to my truck. That's the front. And I got a good space in there. It's the, just a body lift. And there's the back. Of course, the back's got a lot of weight in it, but it's still about the same same height. Same thing on this side. I don't know why, but anyhow, it looks like it's a lot higher there than it used to was. It's almost as high as my son's Dodge, and he ain't got a lift kit on his. <laughs> this is just the difference in what they are. Supposedly nine and a half inch ground clearance on the diff, but it seems to have knocked me down a half a mile a gallon too, so there's that. But we ain't got a chance to go try it out yet, much in the woods. See what happens next. <laughs>